Wonderful. This is Kelly. How may I assist you? Yes. Hi, Kelly. Um, this is going to be my third time calling. Uh, I'm real confused, and I'm just maybe hoping you might be able to at least direct me to the the, uh, the correct place for somebody to help me out. Um, okay. What, did- what happened was uh, about two days ago. I think exactly two days ago, I got a phone call from you guys, and it was it was a recording, and I didn't even recognize that it was a recording at first. It was one of those robots that like pretend to be real, and mm-hmm. you you think you're talking to a person, and I responded to him, and then I realized it was just a computer, and I just hung up, and he was talking about free cruise tickets, and. Um, I just like there ain't nothing free and I just hang up the phone but um, my wife called me today and uh, cuz they called back and she actually talked to somebody on the phone talked to him for a little while and was able to determine that it's real and she was really excited she talked to me about it and at first I was very skeptical and I was like listen sweetie that's not real it's just people scamming out there but no, apparently it is real, and like, I guess you guys give away tickets on cruises all the time, so I guess I shouldn't have been that spe- uh, skeptical. But they got they got disconnected, and she didn't get like the information, so she's freaking out. She's thinking we are not going to be able to get our tickets. And it was just just a huge letdown for her. And, you know, me, to be honest with you, I never, um, I ain't even really ever been on a boat before or any kind of real, you know, fancy vacation like a cruise. Um, so I got really excited. Now we're both just kind of like, what's going on? So I'm thinking that, like, you should just be able to look it up by our names. Mm Mm-hmm. But the okay. last couple times I called, they don't see our names. Um, they just don't see them in like the directory. And as far as uh, she, my wife understands it, at least, it, but as far as we together understand, because under God we're one now, um, that like we are already we already have seats reserved, if you know what I'm saying. So we're just we don't want those to go to waste. So, like, okay. I don't know who to talk to. I uh, just keep running into walls. And the whole thing, I, I gotta be honest with you, is making me feel really stupid. And I, I don't even know. Well, let's start with your name. What is your name? My name is Jarl, but I don't think it would be under my name, because I don't... I, I mean, like I said before, I never been on vacations. So, like, and I don't sign up for you know, nonsense, like, at the grocery store and stuff, so, like, it would make sense if we did win something, that'd be under my wife's name, because she does most, like, the shopping and stuff like that, her name's Melinda, it's M-U-H-L-I-N-D-A, it's a southern spelling. Okay, and Jarl, how do you spell your first name, J-A-R-L? Yes, ma'am, just like it sounds. And what is your last name? Bankstone, B A N K S T O A, like bank, and then stone without an e at the end. Perfect. Okay, so you're saying, uh, and and you did book a cruise with these people or whoever well, called you? No, we 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 didn't book nothing. Like just like I said, like I get a call and it was a computer robot thing, and I, I thought you know, that it was fake, and then they they ended up calling, well, you guys and uh, Carnival Cruise ended up calling us back, and, and my wife actually, you know, heard them out uh, to determine it's actually a real cruise, and, you know, like, all night, she, uh, uh, I mean, we're just, we are just really stoked, and now she got, she got hung up on, well, not hung up on, they got disconnected, but... Like, she's saying, like, the t- they're in our name. Like, even though they got hung up on, we should be able to just get in touch with y'all and give y'all our name and we'll be able to get these tickets. Like, it's already taken up my entire morning chasing down these supposed tickets we want. I, and I don't... I, 
We're not getting any information that I can use. I don't know who to talk to. If it was if it was a carnival representative that called you and offered you something, um, um, the, they the, would I have messages on my voicemails because I still have two because y'all were trying to get in touch with me for uh, the last couple weeks, I guess, because the first one was almost two weeks ago. But in both messages, it's Carnival Cruise Lines, and my wife, who talked to the representative, said it was Carnival Cruise Lines. But every time we call y'all, y'all like you never heard of us before, and like we're crazy, and that free tickets don't exist. And I hear about free tickets on cruises all the time. Like, it seems like that's how most people go on cruises, is free tickets. So I don't... I, I feel like we've... Not to be funny, but I feel like we've missed the boat. You know, just because, like, a disconnection or something. Because it's like these tickets are lost. Do you know who you spoke with? Oh, she she didn't get really any notes. Like she On the voicemail, the did they leave any extension? No, no, she didn't get that. She's everyone, every time I call y'all, you ask for some kind of number. And, man, I wish I had that number. But my wife's the type, I don't even know if she would have wrote it down if you gave it to her. So y'all might have gave it to her. So this is just another thing that's going to cause a strain in our marriage. When it just seemed like this was going to be a really good opportunity for us to really connect again. Um, Joe, I don't, I'm not sure that that was a true carnival representative, and here's why, um, and I hope that you guys, uh, you know, hopefully you didn't give them any personal information, but, um, had it been a real carnival representative, A, they probably would have given you an, a, an extension to call them back at, um, also they would have called you back, they got disconnected, connected. yeah, well they would have called you back, because that normally happens at the end, like every time like I deal with my bank, and like in this new age of computers and stuff, you gotta have numbers and passwords, and, and every time I deal with my bank or anything, or my phone company, it's at the very end of the call, is when they say, alright, here's your number, and that if you need to call us back, this is the number you give the person to that so they'll understand what you're calling about. So now I'm calling and I ain't got no number. And it's like I'm lost. Lost in the phone universe. And I, it's just really frustrating. I don't even know what to tell my wife. Well, that's, well I, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that it was a real... Uh, Carnival Cruise Line representative, and and, and I, I hate to tell you that because we don't have. I looked up your name. We don't have any booking number, which I know you're already aware of. Um, yeah. And it, had it been something we were offering you, we would have booked you on something. Um, I um, I am just double checking though. I'm asking for. I you. understand. Here, let me let me be real with you, real quick. Like I am thinking that it might very well be a scam. And one of the reasons that I'm getting so emotional about all this is I I I, I kind of think my wife might be cheating. I, I, I kind of think, think my wife might be cheating. I kind of think my wife might be cheating. I kind of think my wife might be cheating. I kind of think my wife might be cheating. I kind of think my wife might be cheating.